My team and I started a fun project to see how adding more growth stages to mobs would change the way they behave. This one I am going to be all about it. Wait, I think I messed that up. Anyways, queen bees can infest wooden houses. When provoked, her worker bees will attack you. Yo, this a crown too? This sounds awesome. Hold on. We got a lot of options here. I think I saw a baby creeper in there, but we'll worry about it later. All right, let's put this puppy. Oh my goodness. Look at you. She is great. She is majesty. The bee with its very iconic black and yellow stripes has two forms since both adult and baby bees can be found in game this leaves room for us to insert the queen bee an older version that these flower loving moms have a chance to turn into the queen bee looks fairly similar to her younger family members save for her larger abdomen and identifying crown those eyes oh she got some lipstick on to the whole story nice and check out that behind oh my goodness am i allowed to say that look you see that crown on her head yo that thing would look excellent on me too queen bee you mind uh sharing that where you keep your extra crowns i want to know maybe somewhere around here huh oh whoa what did she just do? Instead of finding a pre-made hive to occupy, the queen bee transcends this need by creating one wherever she pleases. If given a closed structure, the queen will slowly convert it into a hive as its blocks are covered and eventually replaced with honeycombs. Look, if you didn't want to share your jewelry, I understand. Oh my goodness, you didn't have to infect a house though. And look at how many bees are, hey! got close to me oh my gosh i'm gonna be stung not a fan oh my it is literally unending right now hold on a second uh i'm kind of concerned for the rest of this village what is going on in this house here we should see what's inside this house maybe oh hold on they're getting down with that flower let them have their moment i don't want to interrupt that well at any rate they're all pollinated up to this point maybe there is something inside this house that we need to be concerned about huh they're already looking at the other places let's get to the bottom of this oh it Hello. I do not like that she just froze there. Not a fan. <laughs> can, we, can we talk about this, queen? Um, and what are they all up to? Blocking the door? Yeah, actually, let's close this door. I don't want them to see what we're about to get up to here. Regicide. I want that crown, and I'm gonna get it one way or another. I, oh, well, yeah, I'm getting, well, I got the crown at least. While wearing the crown, players will be protected by the full force of this arm, allowing players in danger to float away like a butterfly while the bees sting like the bee. Perfect. Calm down a little bit. The bees, they didn't see anything. Now I am your new leader. <laughs> Yo, this thing looks cool. I got a headband and a crown on. Let's see if these bees can have some fun with our new friends. And by friends, I mean like enemies because we're going to kill the husks. All right, why don't we place a few down right here? Boom. Yes, instantly. Oh my gosh, I didn't even have to do anything. They started going for the husk right away. All it took was some shiny gold on my head. Let's put down a few more, huh? That sounds pretty nice. Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to get out of the way of the carnage. Actually, seems to be the best choice. They are going nuts on him. Show them who's beast. Eh, that one didn't work as well. Show them who's boss, bees. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. No mobs will be a threat any longer. All I need is a flower or two on me. It's beautiful. I figured we'd have a nice little break. Here you go, boys. Nice little flower break before we resume the carnage. Ha, ha, ha. Get him, boys! This is so much fun! I've never liked killing things as much as this. All it took was wearing a crown. I can understand how kingdoms start, you know? It makes a lot of sense. I, it makes a lot of sense to me. I get it. Yes, I need more servants. And my bees, they're gonna handle anyone who dissents. That and my soul. But will this crown be enough to protect us from some of the new dangerous mobs we added? We'll try that a bit later. I am excited about this next one, the baby creepers. Y'all saw a little preview of the name earlier, but hold on. I want to see what they look like. We also have a creeper jockey spawn egg. All right, but first off, look at, ooh, <laughs> look at you, you're adorable. Oh my goodness. Now, when it comes to the creeper, pretty much everyone has a decent understanding of the mob. It's a relatively tall, plant-like creature covered in a natural camouflage. The baby creeper, on the other hand, is quite tiny. Its body hasn't yet grown vertically, and its unique coloration shows that it probably has quite some developing to do before it'll blend in with your local flora. I am in creative mode for safety reasons, but I have to say, you are just the cutest little thing he lunches. Oh, it's 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 kind of pathetic in the sweetest of ways. I gotta see what you're made of, my friend. Hold on a second. Let's see what he looks like compared to a regular creeper. 
The baby one's like a little budding flower. All right, but let's see what he's made of in survival mode, huh, my friend? Get some distance first. Easy does it. Easy, easy. Oh, boy. Well, they're not letting up on me, I'll tell you that much. The adult creeper is calm and collected, known for quietly biding its time until it can create a huge explosion on any targets nearby. And how does the baby creeper fare in this sense? I've never seen flowers this wild. Hold on a second. Oh, that one's just big and excited to see me. Oh, they're like bouncing each other around too. This is the most adorable thing. I'm not even mad about it. Even though I'm about to die, it was all worth it. Okay, but remember the chicken jockey spawn egg from before? These little suckers can latch to the back of the bird. <laughs> And it propels them forward. When I saw this in the chest, I was like, this is the best growth cycle ever. Now that we got a handful of these going, let's see if they have anything special to their drops. I know the regular ones do. Do they have a special type of gunpowder? Stay back, fiends. I'm trying to think about killing you and stuff. And it requires a strategy. All right. Health back a little bit. Ew, come on. Oh, maybe I uh, stick to uh, one at a time, not rush in as much. I mean, they're rushing me constantly. Come on. I need to get some more drops. Oh, I got something. Hold on a second. I'll check in a moment. There are so many of these guys all around. We got to maintain distance. It's not looking good. Yes, we got another one. Perfect. Perfect. We got a few. Okay, so something called what? What is this? Well, hold on. I got to deal with this nasty. All right, there. We got another one for our trouble. Meanwhile, this is pretty intimidating over here. Oh, they heard me. <laughs> Last one. That's all of them. Now, I don't know entirely what they do, but the dev said they'll be useful in a little bit. Explosive powder, we will see you later. It's a vast lake indeed, and our next mob has a growth cycle that takes advantage of it. It's the sunken. Let's go ahead and get our hands on this spawn egg. Might need that sword later. Let's see what this puppy looks like, huh? Place you on down right about... Oh, boy. <laughs> Maybe we should have gone a little deeper for this guy is huge. Imagine what would happen if a once overworld mob decided to live in the water forever. The result of this prolonged water absorption is the sunken, a drowned that is so bloated and waterlogged that it sinks to the bottom of the sea. Curious if this has any effect on how it behaves. Oh, whoa, what? I think I just got sucked down by it, even in create. Aye, easy, come on. I thought I'd be safe in creative mode. This is gonna be a bigger battle than I, oh my goodness, than I thought. Come on, guy, give me a break. All right, a little further away. You might have a chance to actually get a grip of what's going on here. My goodness, oh, whoa. He shot something out at me. I think that's what's pulling me in. With the swipe of its trident, the sunken attacks with such great pressure that it forces the player to the ocean floor, where they may become drowned themselves. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. A little further back. Excellent. I think we'll just have to dodge from time to time. Let's see what a regular drown looks like compared to our sunken friend here. Wait, there we go. A baby, an adult, and whatever that big guy is right behind. Family affair. Now, I noticed it doesn't seem to be dragging the other ones. I could see this being a huge problem in survival mode if it's already one in creative. Let's get a sword and take care of these guys. Yes, even the little one. If I could get to the chest. Come on. Let's do Aye, quickly. Get it, get it. There we go. Now we have a chance. You never think I'd say that in creative mode, but here we are. Let's try in survival, huh? See what happens then. Well, other than him walking on water, I've got some questions about that. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that easy, especially with the little ones all around. I feel no remorse. All right, now the sunken remains. Oh, and I barely remain. In fact, all I might be pretty soon is remains. Take two. No amount of burying my head in the sand is going to get me out of this fight, though. Why don't we... Mm. Get him, get him, get him. So close. Come on, get him. You know what? I think I'm going to need to do a little bit of thinking. What do we have over here? This might be able to help us. It's time to regroup. I'm going to take this in a slightly different approach. So it's time to activate the conduit power. That should give me the leg up I need to be able to take on this sunken. All right, sunken, adult swim, all kids out of the pool. And in this case, you're acting quite childish, trying to kill me. And, and well, he looks like a baby compared to you. So we're going to go with that. Conduit power, help me, please. It's still a little bit more difficult than I was expecting. <laughs> Round 17,000. Should consider getting some floaties for this. This is a little rough. Take them on out. Get him. Die. Die. 
<laughs> Only took 17 attempts, but check out what we've got here. A trident rod, huh? Okay. Trident in hand. I've had a chance to play. This thing is sweet. All right, let's see what this thing can be used for. It's pretty cool looking. I hope its use is just as awesome. First of all, <laughs> you can throw it sky high, and apparently when it lands, it takes you right down to where it went. That is awesome. Think of how fast you can move across the landscape with this thing. It seems to work above ground just as easily, too. But it's got more uses than that. And on top of that, it's got some other pretty interesting uses. You can use it to travel to my... Oh, well, it's a little stronger than I thought. But hey, at least you won't go hungry. Let's see how fast we can use it to get over to this village over here. <laughs> oh, hey, that's not what I wanted to do. Don't you just hate it when you step in lava on your way to work? All right, this next growth cycle is pretty cool. Because the snow. Eh. Anyways, snowballs. Apparently, that is what we're going to be messing with today. It must be for the snow golems. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm excited for this one. Let's see what it looks. Oh, my goodness. You're a cutie pie. Are you even a thing? Oh, yeah, it's got a face. Ooh, and it's rolling. Hold on a second. This is adorable. We introduce the snowball. Since snow golems are known for their traditional snowman-like appearance, built up of snow blocks, it would make sense for snowballs to be a new base snow block. So it turns out when a baby snow golem exists, its head stays the same size the whole way through. Just gains a body. Okay, so I assume by rolling around enough, maybe it eventually rolls into a... Oh, well that answers my question. Well, we definitely need more of that happening in this world. Guys, I've done more research. I can throw the snowballs. Oh my goodness, look, I can literally pick it up and toss them around. Oh, they're all growing up, covered in snow. Let's put a nasty into the arena. See what happens then. All right. Place you down and, oh, to instant action. Not only are the golems mobilizing, but it looks like the snowball is trying to legit run them off the mountain. They're going nuts on the poor thing. Yes, this is the exact carnage I needed this morning. Oh my goodness. So many things are being answered for me. Good job, guys. Let me, wait, did I just throw like five at once? <laughs> Mega snowball. You can combine them together. Attack. The snow golem is known by Players has a strength in numbers mob, since its snowball projectiles don't deal any damage. Essentially, this means that players will need to spawn in several of them if they want to keep their enemies at bay. The snowball would also be known to the players as a strength in numbers mob. They don't deal damage with these snowballs, so this poor guy is going to be stuck here for a minute unless we uh, keep on rolling, my friends. <laughs> and whatever this one was doing. What a relief. This next mob's growth cycle is called the mature sheep. Let's grab some of the these items, mature sheep, zombie, and a few other things too. Oh yeah, oh he's a little camera shy. Come on, I wanna see that face. Oh he's nodding, he's into it. Big old beard alert and those horns are something else. So in real life when sheep mature, they gain some notable defining features. We decided to include these elements into a new growth cycle for this passive mob. The mature sheep is the new final adult form that sheep could potentially grow into. Oh I didn't realize I can ride it. Oh my goodness, what am I, am I like a battery? Ram now, that's sweet. Sheep, do you hear that? It's true, the zombies. Let's see what we can do against it, though, huh? Battering ram, meet zombie. Come on. Oh, no, not ready. Oh, now they want tussle. Come on back, I need your horns. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But the moment I get on the sheep, no one wants to pick a fight. You sure, zombie? I can't interest you in some of this horn sheep action. And on top of that, this thing moves at lightning speed on the ice. My goodness. Imagine being on the tail end of these horns. Well, I guess the front end of them. But anyways, I mean, we hit the next village in no time flat and then passed it too. Running laps. It doesn't even end there though, because you actually have other things that we can apparently do with these mature sheep. Check this out. With some shears, we can actually go to town and grab a new type of item. Fleece! And it is useful in a few different ways. Let's get some more first though. You too. Sorry. Putting fleece together can yield you some woolen boots. Check these things out. Not only are they a fashion statement, but it allows you to walk right on top of the snow. Powdered snow specifically without sinking down. This is so useful in snowy areas. You still can go down them, but it's up to you. Otherwise, you can walk right on over. On top of that, it will remove any single snow layers that happen to be around. So if you have a house based in a snowy area, you'll be able to do your winter cleaning a lot more easily. 
super useful. It doesn't leave you with any snowballs though, but you know, if you want something, you just bring a shovel. And on top of that, you can use the fleece to make a fleece bed. This bed is ridiculously overpowered. When you put it down, oh, this bed is absurdly powerful. Placing it down will remove any hostile mobs. Oh, and apparently passive ones nearby you. And will also instantly heal your hearts, your hunger, and give you strength. Uh, the dev went a little overboard, I think, perhaps, but I'm not complaining. Nor is the sheep. It managed to survive the slaughter. Whoa, this looks cool. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. It, it also died. But hey, we got a strength boost at least. That makes up for it, right? Don't answer that question. All right, so the dev put together a hostile baby variant. Check this one out. Baby skeleton. Weird that there's no baby skeletons already. There's baby zombies. Oh, look at him. He's adorable. Given that zombies frequently walk the surface of the overworld alongside their younger counterparts, we figured it'd be nice to give skeletons a younger counterpart as well. This ended up taking the form of the baby skeleton. I don't know if I'm going to be able to defeat these things in a little bit here. Um, but it is a video game, so maybe we feed them up and make them big. Oh, never mind. I thought maybe that's what the milk bucket was for, but they instantly begin attacking. Go ahead, drink from it. Oh, it is. That is what you do with it. <laughs> but they're not attacking me. What is that about? Are they my friends now? Maybe I can tame them. Hey, come on back. I've got a treat for you. An extra limb or two. They don't appear interested. Come on, it smells to... Wait, what the? Hold on a second. Bones just become baby skeletons? Yeah, that's right. Protect daddy. I grew you from a little thing into the dead corpse you are with a bow today. Single bones turn into entire entities? There's gonna be a population boom of dead creatures. What does the bone block do then? Hold on a second. <gasps> A little grouping of them. Oh my goodness. Well, this reminds me that we've got another baby that we already looked at earlier. So while these ones squabble, I've got an idea. They need a leader to be able to corral them. The baby creeper from earlier. That's right. He's coming on back. And look at this. When creepers and skeletons normally collide in Minecraft, it's a hostile experience. But now they're just having a little party. Music started playing. Oh, the dev had fun with this one. And they're so adorable. Oh, and look, they're dancing around me. I feel so special. Now, in survival mode, they... Oh, well. All right, we're back on the beach. I don't know if we were there before, but anyways. We've got a giant turtle. This is going to be a fun growth cycle. Hold on a second. We've got a fun few items here. Let's find out what it looks like compared to a regular turtle. Look at you. I'm about to introduce... Oh, boy. Well, it looks like it became him. <laughs> and it popped off a bunch of items, too. While a fully grown Minecraft turtle can reach a pretty impressive size. Did you know that in real life, certain species of turtle will grow sometimes over six feet long? Some of us may consider that giant. And so with that, we've added the giant turtle to the game. Let's see. Yeah, this is Scoot that you can use, I assume, to make the Scoot helmets, right? But look at all the moss on this guy's back. You are something else. You've seen a lot, I imagine. Don't worry, friend. I'll help you get to the water. I mean, you've been around long enough. Come on. Go on in. A little bit closer. Whoa, whoa. It can be ridden to efficiently traverse water? How'd I miss that sign? Let's see what else is in this chest before we head off on our adventure. Okay, so apparently you can feed this guy the slime blocks here interesting oh hey i think that tamed him now i can oh boy oh come on Ooh, whoa goes over the sand too and i am like a speedboat right now we are going so fast on this and i can go underwater too oh my gosh this is gonna change i don't even need that sunken trident from before this is gonna be way faster dolphin's grace is outdated now he does get in my way a little bit so i can't see he's easily directly below me but i think the speed difference more than makes up for that. I don't know if I'll ever need to build a boat again. And yeah, look, even on land, well, no, on land he kind of sucks. But in the water, he's awesome. Okay, I spawned in a bunch of these, and they keep dropping Scoot. So, I have a feeling there's more to it than just making the helmets. Actually, it's called Large Scoot. I don't think I realized. This is different from the other stuff. Yeah, check it out. You can use Large Scoot to make a turtle chest plate. Look at this, riding around in fashion. Now, I want to test out what this thing can... Whoa, not even interested in me, huh? Hey, mister, I'm over here. It looks like he's distracted. Don't you want to attack me? I'm the threat. What? It looks like the arrows don't even work on him either. Dude, this is incredible armor. It vaporizes the arrows. I assume it's supposed to be like it's deflecting off of them. 
but this skeleton doesn't even care about me. Yeah, he's completely distracted by all the giant turtles dancing. How about with some zombies instead? How are you guys gonna ha- Oh, <laughs> no way. Yo, they get bounced off the turtle shell. That one that fell in the water is not long for this world. You'll be a drowned and a sunken soon enough. Oh, look, that poor guy over there is being bullied by the zombies. Don't worry, friend. Let's ride out of here to safety. Like father, like son. Out. Oh, oops. We've got another mob with a new growth cycle here. This is the overgrown mushroom. Check this thing out. Goodness gracious, what is on its back? <laughs> oh, it's got like cool leaf. That thing is awesome looking. Even though cows don't have another growth stage after their first growth spurt, it might make sense for mushrooms to grow up just a bit more. With the overgrown mushroom, we can see how the shrooms that are normally on its back have now formed into a singular large mushroom. Now, I did find a bunch of items in the chest that was over there. I have a feeling we might be using them on this mushroom or something. Perhaps. Hey, what do you think about that? Totally distracted. <laughs> Come on. Maybe we can feed it to him. Hold on. Will you eat an eyeball for me, overgrown mushroom? Let's give it a shot. Go ahead. It's delicious. I promise. It ate it. No way. Oh my goodness. Okay. How about a glass bottle? Can we take this to the next level? Oh, well, it didn't eat the glass bottle, but apparently the mushrooms evolved because instead of giving you suspicious stew, you can legit just get potions from it. It's like a wandering brewing stand. Look, I've got a crazy speed boost right now. Hold on a second. I want to see what else we can feed this thing. How about some sugar, baby? Why don't we try and feed this thing a phantom membrane? Maybe it can get us a slow falling potion. I don't think you can normally get those. Oh, it worked. Look at that. We now have access to some incredibly useful potions that we may not normally get. Unless I'm not remembering right. Maybe we can get the slow falling. I'm not going to complain about it. Look at this. I'm floating around. What a useful mob. Imagine if we had this. This is so cool to see in action. The dev did a great job. I mean, I'm going to town on potions. Poison ones too? And I gotta worry about blaze powder? Hey, this is the best. Now, I'm a little curious what would happen if we fed it the primer we got from the baby creeper. What do you got for us? Potion of spores. What is that about? Well, I guess we can drink it and see. Yo, check it out. Ooh, we got haste on top of that. Hey, look at that. The mushroom was taking damage when I walked by it. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's like a literal spore effect. There's like deadly particles of mushrooms just all around me. You'd think that the mushroom was safe from it, but hey, this thing's pretty dangerous. I like some built-in defenses for when I'm exploring around. Let's see what the turtles think of it. Oh yeah, no, they don't like it either. Look, I'm not trying to be cruel. It's a video game. It's okay. But hey, this gives me an idea for these guys. I wonder what would happen if we fed this mushroom some kelp. Turtle's favorite snack. You got another special potion for us, perhaps? Oh, looks like it. Potion of green thumb. Let's see what this is about. Will I get a speed boost? Or maybe that was already there from before. I'm sparkling around me. Ooh, okay. Check it out. Does it do anything with growing? I mean, it's called green thumb. I'm not too sure. Oh, no, wait. It looks like it is. <laughs> you see the size of that thing over there? Yeah, look, confirmed. Hold on a second. It grows things nearby me almost instantaneously. It's like I've got built-in bone meal. The turtles are impressed as well. I swear. Hey, guys, look at me. Could you? Maybe they're not interested at all. But I know there's one thing that you still can do with a regular mushroom that we have yet to try with our overgrown friend here. Snip away. Hey, let's see what happens. There we oh, whoa, check it out. We've got like a mini mushroom biome that just popped up here. Oh, we left with a regular cow. Well, <laughs> we've got some extra company. Dude, it'd be so easy to get as much mycelium as you want. You could just start, look at this, this is incredible. We've got our own little mushroom biome. An island indeed. Well, I have to say these mobs have really grown on me. Maybe you can let us know in the comments what other mobs should have growth cycles.